Hi Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we're going to go over a 10 minute point guard workout. Let's get started. Hi Hoopers. In today's video, we're gonna break down a 10 minute workout. You're gonna get three drills, all right? The first one is going to be two minutes of floaters, because we're point guards, so we gotta be able to score the ball using a floater. I think this is one of the most important shots to have in your game as a point guard. So we're gonna get two minutes of floaters to actually kick off the workout. Then we're gonna get two shooting drills, and the shooting drills are gonna have a certain amount of makes that you have to get before moving on to the last one. So you're gonna have two minutes of floaters, and then you're gonna have three minutes to complete that shooting drill, and then you're gonna have another three minutes to finish off the next shooting drill, and then at the end, we'll go back and we'll go into some more floaters at the end to finish off the workout. Okay, so let's go two minute floaters. With this drill, what I want you to really focus, on, focus in on is, first of all, you're starting at the three point line each and every rep that you take. So you got two minutes, and I really want you to push yourself and count how many you can make in that two minutes. So you're attacking, boom, you get into the basket, boom, shoot your floater off of one or two feet, doesn't matter. After you do that though, you're not just gonna get your rebound and shoot another one. You're gonna get your rebound, you're gonna hustle out, right? Boom, get back to the three-point line. Attack again from a different spot on the floor, shoot another floater off of one or two feet. Okay, I want you to keep moving. It's two minutes. Yes, you're gonna get tired, but you have to concentrate. It's a cardio drill, but a concentration drill and being able to finish with the floater. Okay, like I said, this is an important shot to have in your game as a point guard. So this is your first two minutes of the workout floaters. I'm gonna give you a couple for example so you can see what they should look like. Check it out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, for the next three minutes, your shot is a one dribble pull up. Okay, so we're going to a one dribble pull up jump shot. Another important shot to have as a point guard. You have three minutes to make 15 shots. If you get that 15 made before you get to the three minutes, get to 20. Okay, but I'm giving you enough time because you're not going to make each and every shot that you take. If you do, congratulations. But if you don't, get your rebound. Again, it's the same thing like floaters. Start at the three point line, you got one dribble pull up shot. Get your rebound, get outside the three point line. Same thing, attack, one dribble pull up, shot. Try to make 15. Once that three minutes is up, you'll move on to the next drill, which you'll see next. But right now, we're focusing on one dribble pull up jumpers from the mid range. All right, this is your next three minutes of your 10 minute point guard workout. Check it out. Here's a couple, for example, in full speed. All right, Hooper, so after you complete that one dribble pull up from the mid range, you're now gonna work on alternating step back. So for this one, you're just gonna be on the top, but each rep you're gonna alternate going to a different side. And this is for your next three minutes. Again, make 15. If you get 15 done before that three minutes is up, make 20 of them, okay? Again, you're not gonna probably make them all. Again, if you do, congratulations. Now with this, we wanna start at the top, boom. So the first rep, you can go right or left. When we go right, we're stepping back off of that left foot, boom, right into a jumper. Get your rebound, get back up to the top. Boom, push to the left. Step back, boom, shot, okay? You're going until you make 15 or 20, depending upon how quick you get it done. All right, but you got three minutes. If you don't make it in that three minutes period of time, then just move on to the next drill, okay? But right now, we're working on creating space. As a point guard, if you can create space, especially from a big man or your defender to get your shot off, you'll put yourself in a great position to score. Okay, so this is minute five, six, seven, and eight, or six, seven, and eight. Okay, so your first two minutes was your floater, and then minute three, four, and five was the one dribble pull up. Now the next six, seven, and eight minutes, you're going with alternating step back jumpers. Okay, so let's check it out right now. Have a few examples for you in full speed.
All right, Hooper, so you just completed minutes six, seven, and eight. And again, to finish off the last two minutes of your 10 minute point guard workout, get that another two minutes of your floaters and keep track. See if you can beat the first score that you had in your first two minutes of the workout. Now that's it. You've got your floaters, you've got your one dribble pull up and your alternating step back. All great things to add into your game, especially being a point guard, being able to score over taller defenders with the floater, getting to your dribble pull up, using step backs to create space to get your shot off. All important to add to your game. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, let us know what you think. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button so you can get videos like this every single week from Think Pro Basketball designed to help you take your game to the next level. Now it's your job to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, and remember to always keep hooping.